Have you wondered what test kits you really need to get started with saltwater aquaria? Let's talk about it. I'm Logan from Reef Rookies and I'm here to help you demystify saltwater aquaria. When you're talking about your test kits, there really are only nine that you need to worry about if you're going to be setting up a mixed reef or a coral tank and only six if you're going to be setting up a fish only tank. Now my personal preference for testing salinity, which you'll need to do in both cases, is an analog refractometer. There are digital ones as well and they work quite good, but the one you want to avoid really is this needle style hydrometer. They really aren't as accurate as we would like them to be and something as simple as having a couple of bubbles on that needle can give you a false reading. Whereas with a refractometer or a floating style hydrometer, you're not going to have that problem and you're always going to have a very nice, very accurate reading of your salinity. Next up on the list as most important when you're getting started are going to be ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Now these three things are what you're going to need to find out if your tank is working through the nitrogen cycle and all that. And once you get past the nitrogen cycle, the ammonia and nitrite tests really don't matter all that much anymore unless you have a problem and you suspect one of them being an issue then you can test for it at that time but it's not something you're going to have to test for weekly because if your tank gets through the nitrogen cycle and everything looks good those are always going to be getting converted into nitrates which is one of the most important tests we can do as reef keepers Along with that, if you're setting up a fish only tank, you only need to add two more tests. You're gonna to need to add pH and phosphate. And pH is going to be one of those tests where as long as it's in range and stable over time, you really don't have to worry about it too much. If your pH comes in at 7.8 and it's always right around that number, that's fine. If it's jumping from 7.8 to 8.6 to 7.6 to 8.4, well, you have a very bad stability issue that you need to get worked out and something is causing your pH to jump around a lot. But that's really a story for another video. A lot of people out there would probably disagree with me talking about using a phosphate kit on a fish only tank. But the reason I say that is because nuisance algae is heavily based on the amount of phosphates that you have in your aquarium. And while fish only tanks can be absolutely gorgeous tanks, it's almost never a good look to the tank to have nuisance algae growing all over your rocks and stuff like that. It's just not that aesthetically pleasing. So you need to be keeping track of your phosphates so you know if you're getting into a situation where nuisance algae might show up. So let's recap a little bit. If you're doing a fish only tank, these are the six test kits that you're going to have to be testing for in different frequencies on a different basis. Moving on to a mixed reef or coral tank, you're gonna to have to add these three test kits over here, calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity. And the reason why is because corals are living animals. They're not plants like some people often think. And they uptake these main elements all the time in their life cycle. If you're gonna have corals that have a skeletonized base structure, they're really going to be consuming the calcium out of the water in order to build that base skeleton structure and the amount of magnesium and alkalinity in the water has a direct role in the calcium uptake of those corals. So you're gonna to need to be testing for all of those as well, just to make sure that your levels are in range and in a good place for those corals to have all of the available elements and nutrients that they need. And if you're watching this video, you're probably just getting into saltwater aquaria and you have more questions and stuff. So I would highly recommend that you check out this video right here because it explains even more important things that you're going to need to know about. I'll see you over there.